I've always said there was a time in this country when if you saw a guy driving a brand new Cadillac and, you know, the, the father and son were walking down the street and here comes Mr. Johnson, his big black Cadillac going up to the top of the hill. There was a time when the father would look at the son and say, you study hard, you work hard, you get it done. And one day you can have big shiny Cadillac and live up at the top of the hill. Now, smash cut to 2015, the son's looking at the dad going, where the fuck does he have that Cadillac? And we're driving a Isuzu Trooper. This is bullshit. Let's go throw a rock at that guy's Cadillac or let's go see what we can get from Mr. Johnson. See, there's, there's a mentality of, you and I have the mentality of, and, and it's what this country was basically settled on, which is go get some for yourself. We have a larger and larger group looking around going, wait a minute, what are they doing? And how, how can I get some of what they got? Mm -hmm. You know, this whole country is, it, but, it's a, but it's a whole mentality. I mean, it, it, it's, it's trickling down from the government. It's, it's not, it's a sort of a slow poisoning. You know, it's, it's this sort of, you know, income inequality. Yeah, why does that guy need three? Joe Rogan's got a bunch of cars. You drive them all at the same time? You can't drive all those cars at the same time. I got a vacation house? You got two houses? What? How many how many bathrooms in your house, Joe Rogan? One, two, three. You used to have five. I got rid of one. Four. Four? How many assholes do you <laughs> how many assholes do you have? Uh, well, I live with three other people, so <laughs> you call your kids and wife an asshole? The they have they have butts. What do you need all those assholes. bathrooms and cool cars for? <laughs> you don't need all that. Yeah. So so it should be equal. Everybody spread should, it out. Well, that's what people that don't have anything think. They think that everything should be socialism. Well, also, it's like none of your fucking business what I have or what I do. There's always going to be someone above me. There's mm -hmm. always going to be people below me. And by the way, hey, Joe Rogan, where are you going to be this weekend? Dallas. Okay, ask Adam Carolla where he's going to be this where are you weekend. Where going to be this weekend? Adam Portland and Seattle. Not on my sofa. Right. Not with a beer in my hand. Not playing, not throwing the ball with my kids in the backyard. So you're trying to say that people that don't have things in this world, they don't work hard, Adam Carolla? Do you not understand that this is just a built-in inequality in our system right now? It's because of capitalism, and capitalism is the real issue here. Yeah. People that work and pay for things, by the way, that's capitalism, you fuck. People that, like, you, you go to the store and you buy food, that's capitalism. Yeah. You work for a job, they pay you, that's also capitalism. Don't say capitalism doesn't work, because it's not. that's not the issue. Just because you're not successful it doesn't mean that capitalism is well they do this shit they go cronyism they go oh you don't think that guy who's humping drywall on a construction site you don't say he's not working hard and i'm like yeah he's working hard everybody historically has worked hard but he's not working smart he's not doing what he's got to do to get the extra car that I have because I used to carry the drywall. Yeah, I did now, too. Now I don't. And by the way, he doesn't have to do that. He could do other things. If you if you think that job is too hard, you don't have to do it. Nobody's forcing you to do it. And if you do do it temporarily and you don't enjoy the hard labor, find another way. There's other ways to do it. But this idea that somehow or another everything's supposed to be equal is fucking unbelievably ridiculous because there's no equality. There's no equality in this world when it comes to, look, some people speak five languages. You don't. If you don't speak five languages, you're not fucking equal to that guy. If that guy goes to France, he can communicate. There's no equality in that. It's not like, how come these French people don't just accept my language? Well, right. it doesn't work like that. You have to work hard if you want to learn how to speak five fucking languages. Like, right. the amount of effort you put in is directly proportionate to the, the, the reward you get out of it, or if you do it intelligently, at least. Right, but what the people would say, who we vehemently disagree with, is that guy on the construction site can't get to the next level and can't get off that construction site because his dad carried drywall and he's poor mm -hmm. and he's a product of the system and he's a product of the education around him and he's a product of that environment which may not help it it's obviously much better you know dr drew's dad was a physician and it definitely helped Dr. Drew become a physician. But my dad didn't do shit, 
and I got more money than Dr. Drew. <laughs> so what what math shall we do here? Well, you, you you know, people figure things out. There's a lot of people that figure things out in this world. They figure out a way. And some people don't figure it out. And that's the same with playing games. Like, there's some people that are really good at playing chess. Why are they really good at playing chess? Well, they study it, and they figure it out, and they get better at it. And then other people fucking suck at it. But they're also playing chess. But they're playing chess, and they're not thinking ahead. They're not focusing. They're not concentrating. They might be distracted while they're playing that chess. Life, when it comes to capitalism, when it comes to, I mean, forget capitalism. When it comes to trying to, let's use that, that phrase, get ahead. Right. To get, it's a game. It's a game. And yes. what you decide to do, whether you decide to build houses or you decide to make paintings or you decide to fix cars, whatever the fuck you decide to do, you're essentially playing a game. The game is, I will try to get really good at this and hopefully I'll get some money along the way. And if you do not play the game and you decide, I'm just going to stick to this hole digging thing and uh, why don't I have a Cadillac? I'm not, I'm fucking digging this thing. I'm, I'm working all day. But by the way, what? First off, and, and then the next thing they do is the next thing out of their mouth is, you know, money doesn't buy happiness, don't you? It's like, good, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Have fun in your Zuzu Trooper. Like... Okay, then why are we saying, look, you, you have a family, you know, when I was poor, I fucked hot chicks. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Well, not supermodels. <laughs> and, you know, there were little uh, re refractory periods would go on sometimes months on end. But, yeah, I drank beer. I fucked. I ate out. I had fun. When you were poor. Yeah, I just yeah. had a different kind of fun. It was well, like you didn't have children back then. Too. No, it was like getting our kind of fun was getting the back of a F one fifty pickup. We're going to Baja, mm -hmm. and we're going to buy some roadside fireworks and shoot them off throughout out the back of the pickup truck and camp on the beach and surf naked and you know that start a bonfire and Good drink times. some mezcal tequila. It didn't cost anything. I like it, but it was still fun. Yeah, I mean half the shit I did, you know, I was didn't cost anything we just had fun yeah money does not buy happiness it's absolutely true and there's a lot of people that only focus on money and they wind up being rich and miserable and that is a fact but that doesn't mean that you you can't get freedom from money that relieves pressure and that's where people are mistaken this idea that it's one or the other that it's either or either you are enjoying your life as a poor person and you're happy and wonderful and loving or you're a, a wealthy miser who fucking hates his life and lives in depression and drinks himself to death or takes pills to avoid reality that's not true either like you what 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 money does do, the big thing that it did for me, when I when I first got my first develop, I got one of those development deals. I got a few of those back in the day, but I got one before the fucking the water ran out, and uh, all of a sudden I didn't worry about my bills. All yeah. of a sudden, all of a sudden, I had this huge feel, like a physical feeling of like like you ever do you ever work out with a weight vest? Mm -hmm. I like working out with weight vests. I like uh, doing I have a weighted fanny pack. <laughs> That's good too. It's my new thing. Um, the thing about a weight vest is you take that sucker off and you say, ah, oh, you feel so good. Yeah. And that's how I felt when I first got my first check. I yeah. was like, wow, now I know that I can pay my rent this month. Now I know that I could go to dinner and I can order what I want to order instead of order like the cheapest thing on the menu. Yeah. I always tell people it doesn't, it doesn't make you happy. It, what it does is it stops you from worrying about shit that makes you unhappy. Yes. Like. Yes. A parking ticket would ruin my week. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I remember getting f sixty bucks out of the ATM once and leaving it into the a in the ATM, and then coming back ten minutes later and it was gone, and I was like devastated for the entire weekend because I was out to sixty bucks. Right, right. Like little shit like that just fucks you up, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's always the you know when you're going out to uh, eat, it's like. Should you should you order cocktails? Should you order a glass of wine? It's going to be eight bucks more. Like, mm -hmm. don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. You already ordered an appetizer. Don't get greedy. And it's the thinking, too, the resources that are required to constantly be thinking about your bills. Like, when I was a, a broke comedian, I remember just always wondering, like, how I was going to pay for this. Like, oh, this is coming up. This goddamn bill is going to be on the 15th, and I, I don't have that money. And i got to figure out that money and making phone calls and trying to get gigs and trying to figure out how to pay that bill. All that goes away. But the whole point is 
you never looked around and went, who can do this for me? No, you, you just found a mirror and went, I got to get after it a little yeah. harder. Yeah, you can't think like that. That's a that's a tr that's a trap. The but don't you think when we're constantly hitting everyone over the head, I, I can't stand when I hear the politicians go, it's not a level playing field. I'd like to tell you it was a level playing field, but it's just not. Well, it's not. Neither is life. Well, when you see a course. beautiful woman, when you see a beautiful woman, and then you see some woman with unfortunate genetics, what the fuck? Did that beautiful woman, did she earn that? No. This is not, this is not even. It's not even. The, some women are born with perfect bone structure, and that's just... That is just something you're gonna have to deal with in this life. You know, I'm five foot eight. If what if I was a what if I loved playing basketball? What if I wished I was seven <laughs> I feet know. tall? I've that... met, you know, I've met giant basketball players. I'm like, fuck. Like this is not even. This is not. This is, we're not born with the same chips or the same deck of cards. I, we're well, just not. How, by the way, could you ever? And then how's the government gonna figure that out? And yeah, you can make the school system as even as you can, and you can make the law as even as you can. But the chick who's six one who has got the, you know looks like Heidi Klum still gonna have a quite quite you know quite an advantage over Alex Borstein. Yeah, there's no way around that. But the Alex Borsteins.